Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we also have Microsoft Edge version 126 rolling out, which Microsoft pushed out uh, late yesterday in my part of the world once again on the 13th of June. And this is now our latest release that's now made its way down to the stable channel. So as always, uh, to double check, we have this latest version. We head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And after this update has been applied to your browser, the version and build is sitting on 126.0.2592.56. Now, Edge 126, I would consider to be a light release. And um, the same happened with Google Chrome um, earlier this week. And uh, we don't get that many front-facing features, but I'll go through one or two little tweaks and adjustments you may be interested in with this latest version. Now, first of all, we get various bugs and performance issues um, that have been addressed. And that's quite common um, with basically every update um, Microsoft does push out those bug and performance fixes um, to address any stability issues and problems in the browser. And then we also get um, the stable channel security updates, which are quite important. Now, first of all, we get three edge-specific updates, uh, security updates that have rolled out for the browser itself. And then over and above the three edge specific updates, security updates that have rolled out, it will also include the Google Chrome security fixes that rolled out earlier this week, because obviously uh, Edge is a open source Chromium based web browser. It's based on that open source Chromium platform. And that received 21 security fixes earlier this week. None of those uh, uh, security vulnerabilities were high risk, which is your level just below a critical, so an important security update. And most of those um, severities, um, high risk severities, were uh, type confusion in V8, use after free in Dawn, inappropriate implementation in Dawn, heap buffer overflow in tab groups, inappropriate implementation in DevTools. So um, 21 security fixes rolled out and nine high severity vulnerabilities have been patched. So um, this is an important security update, which will patch your browser if you have applied this um, latest version upgrade. Now with that out of the way, time just to focus on one or two so-called new features. Now the first one I have actually posted on previously, and it's a new AR theme generator. And I'll leave a video in the end screen of this video um, just to show you a little bit more in detail what it's about and how you can apply it and how you can actually use it in Edge. But basically, um, I've already applied it to my um, uh, sidebar and it includes an AR theme generator that allows you to input a text prompt and generate a series of images to preview as browser themes. And applying the uh, theme includes setting the generated image on the Edge new tab page and applying the image's dominant color to the browser frame. I've already applied an AR theme here on my new tab page, but just to click on surprise me and we create theme and that'll take a couple of seconds to generate. But as mentioned, um, if you want to know how to pop that into the sidebar and you want, know, and you want some more information about it, as mentioned, uh, there will be a video in the end screen and obviously this is Microsoft now pushing a little bit more AR into the browser and there we go and then once that's um, generated you can apply the theme and that's it that's my new tab page theme now with the obviously the browser frame adjusting to that theme and that's now the AR theme generator using AR to generate that browser theme so if you are interested in that type of thing this may be of interest to you and then we get a couple of um we get a security settings control in the microsoft edge management service that's a new feature but that's mainly for admins in corporations and enterprises and won't be of a major interest to your average home user and then i'm just going to mention this next one there's a copilot summarization notification which is on a controlled feature rollout. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm just going to mention it because it's um, rolling out using a phased controlled rollout. So Microsoft says, if you don't see this feature, check back, check back, back at a later stage. So basically what this feature is all about is the feature displays an Omnibox notification when you enter into a reading mode eligible page in Edge and offers uh, you the option to open Copilot in the sidebar to generate a summary of the content. I'm not seeing it yet, but nonetheless, that's on a controlled rollout, Copilot summarization notification. So basically, 
both new features that are listed in the release notes are regarding artificial intelligence. So that's quite interesting because obviously Microsoft are very intent to get AI into every corner and aspect of their products and services. Now the next one wasn't mentioned in the release notes, but it has been spotted. And um, one of the changes uh, in version 126 is that the media metadata for videos playing in, in private window will no longer appear in the Windows media controls. So just to demonstrate, if I'm playing a one of my videos um, in, in private, private browsing, you'll see now in the quick launch and the quick settings, it just says a site is playing media, where previously, even when you were playing media in a private window, it would give you the title of that media. So obviously now for privacy reasons, this is a better option. And this is a default feature now in 126. You don't have to do anything to adjust or apply the setting. So if you do do a lot of browsing or uh, you do watch or listen to a lot of media uh, in, in private, it just says a site is playing media and doesn't actually give you any indication as to what is playing. So that's it, guys. That's more or less what is new in Edge 126. As mentioned, um, not a major upgrade. And two out of the three new features include AR, which I always think is interesting at this stage of the game. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.